Yeah, I think that, um, you know, this was uh, um, a great opportunity for Ohio State. We started eight freshmen and sophomores, and um, we just gained a ton of experience by even being here. You know, I thought that Kentucky had a very nice squad and presented a lot of problems for us. Um, you know, both teams have been riddled with injuries. And, um, you know, we got a couple of our players back, and so it was fantastic for us to, um, you know, get them back and in the flow. But we also lost a couple. So, you know, clearly disappointed um, ending our season. We've got some great seniors that we'll miss in the future. But, uh, um, you know, you try and play as long as you can until you meet a team that's a little bit better than you, and that happened tonight. So hats, hats off to Kentucky. Uh, yeah, I thought uh, it was a great goal set up by Lindsay on the dribble and a great pass to Nichelle. Uh, I thought it was a huge spark energy-wise to be able to uh, go 2-1 and know that if we could just get one more, maybe we could push it to overtime. Um, but uh, I think overall we kept playing hard and uh, didn't quit till the game was over. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I feel the same way. I think that once we got that, we all had a – like light in us and we were ready to go and like she said we just kept playing and never stopped so um yeah i think obviously we pride ourselves on our defense and our shot blocking and i just think they found a way to get around us and just break through us so hats off to them for that Yeah, I think Kentucky was really athletic up top, very fast and skilled. And I thought our defense played hard, but uh, they found some good opportunities and capitalized on them. Thanks. Um, well, you know, you start out by saying, hey, the score's 0-0. Zero, zero. And, uh, you know, soccer's a funny sport. And um, there was a lot of transition in that game. <clears throat> and, you know, I thought that um, we had to work out some things in the midfield. And I thought that's really where the game, uh, the difference was made in, in the game. And so, um, you know, we tried to tighten some things up and shrink that midfield. It got too stretched out for us. And we were conceding way too many shots. And um, I thought that we did a better job of that in the second half. And then clearly when you're chasing the game, um, the game's going to get stretched out again, and so that's that's kind of what happened. Um, you know, you got to push that, and uh, um, we did get stretched a bit. And um, you know, with the speed that Kentucky has up top, you know, you can't allow balls to go in over the top and in behind you, and not expect some bad things to happen. So. Yeah, Michelle's just an extremely special player, and um, you know we've we've had um, uh, some different types of attacking that we've had to do this year because of um, how they've defended against her. And you know we've seen two and three uh, players having to defend her, and um, you know I think that's just a credit to the type of player she is. I mean her pace, her ability to change direction. Um, she's very dynamic on the ball, and, and she's been a heck of a goal scoring uh, threat for us this year. Um, just as a freshman, we, we've got a lot of time with her, and, and we're very excited about, um, you know, how the attack for Ohio State is going to be down the road. As I said, you know, with eight freshmen and sophomores starting, um, you know, the future's bright. So this was a, a really great opportunity to get this NCAA experience under our belt and, um, you know, continue to grow and, and uh, get back to, um, you know, where our program likes to be, which is in that top 25.